it. On the morning of June 6, 1944, the cold grey dawn broke over the Normandy coast. For thousands of Allied soldiers crammed into landing craft, seasick and soaked, this was it. They were about to storm Hitler's Atlantic Wall, a brutal fortress of concrete and steel. But beneath the sand, an even deadlier threat awaited millions of landmines, silent and patient ready to turn men and tanks into heaps of twisted metal. At Omaha Beach, the Americans would learn the devastating cost of this threat. As they charged ashore, entire platoons were simply erased, consumed by explosions of sand and fire. The brave engineers sent to clear the way were cut down before they could make a dent. The beach quickly became a killing field, a scene of chaos and carnage that would haunt Allied commanders for the rest of the war. Yet, just a few miles down the coast, something extraordinary was happening. On the British and Canadian Beaches Gold Juno, and sought the landings, were proceeding with astonishingly few mine casualties. This wasn't luck. This was innovation. Leading the charge were machines so bizarre, they looked like...